Hello everyone. So welcome you all. So this is Pavan. So in this video, uh, I'm going to explain about uh, different levels of uh, software testing. So what is the level of testing? So normally when you perform a testing on the real time, so we need to uh, uh, follow certain levels. So, so for example, uh, developers and QA. So there are two teams are uh, working on the software. Let's say one side we have a developer the other side we have a QA, so or testers. So as soon as the developer, the main responsibility of the developer is to develop the software, right? So he has to develop the software by writing the code. And then the QA responsibility is to test the software, right? Both are currently working on this software. So here, the dev point of view also, once we have written that code, they will also do certain kind of testing at their level. Okay, so they will con uh, they will conduct testing uh, on the program level, programs level. Each and everything they will test internally. So again, from the QA perspective, we don't know what the dev will uh, dev have written the code inside it, but we will get only the integrated software we call as a build. So we need to conduct a complete testing on this particular build. We can't see any code which is written by the developer. Okay, so here developer side they will do certain kind of testing called as a unit testing here will perform and integration testing will be done and from the QA perspective we'll do a system testing and also we'll do UAT testing user acceptance testing and so on but these testing should happen step by step like one after another so as soon as the software the basic thing or basic build or program is ready the first thing will start but the basic testing will start from the developer there's a unit testing and then they will integrate multiple modules and they do integration testing and once they give the build or software to the QA team we perform system testing or UAT testing so let us see what are those levels and uh, what are the type of testings we do as part of those levels now here we call them as a unit testing integration testing system testing and user acceptance testing so these are the different levels of testing so unit testing is normally done by the developer at the program level. So that's the reason we call this as a white box testing techniques. It's completely the program level. So developer will perform this testing. These are first level of testing. And then suppose the developer is have, suppose it implemented one component, one and let's say another component two, they will integrate these two component and make is another component and then test this component. Here, integration is uh, working properly or not. They will test this. That comes on the integration of testing, integration testing. And which is also normally done by the test, uh, normally done by the developers while integrating those modules. And the next level, this is second level of testing. And the next level of testing is the system testing. So this is the area where the QA team is completely involved in that. So as part of the system testing, we have to perform a lot of testings like uh, we do functional testings, we do non-functional testings. So basically functional and non-functional and performance testing is also comes from the non-function testing. And as part of functional testing, we do all kinds of behavior of application working according to customer requirement or not, GUI testing, like input domain testing, database testing, exception handling testing, like links coverage, all these things will be testing as part of functional testing. And non-functional part like performance testing, stress testing, security testing, all these things comes under the non-functional aspect. So these are the testings we have to con uh, conduct as part of the system testing. So this is completely QA team is responsible for doing the system testing, end-to-end -end testing we have to conduct. There's a third level of testing. By here, while getting the bill here, uh, we don't see the code. So this is comes under the black box testing. We call it as a black box testing technique. But unit testing and integration testing comes under the white box testing technique because they can internally test the program. What logic they have written, they know it. But as a tester, we don't need to know about what they have written internally, but at very high level, uh, we will test that application, whether it is working according to customer requirement or not. So that is about system testing. So once the QA team is done the system testing, the customer or users will perform the user acceptance testing, whether or software is working according to their requirement or not. As per the uh, use cases they are given, uh, they are satisfying your software or not. So that will be done by the users. Okay, that's all uh, UAT testing. 
So the first level of testing is unit testing and the second level of testing is integration testing. The third level of testing is system testing and where actual QA team is involved. And the last one is a user acceptance testing or the users will perform this testing and then the deployment will happen. That's the last stage. Okay. So in the next video, I'm going to discuss uh, each and every testing in detail. So thanks for watching this video. So please subscribe my channel to get uh, more updates on this. So thank you all.